Well, good morning everyone. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, this is our garden for July and uh, our canna lilies are doing real pretty. Uh, pink and orange. And uh, the rest of this bed is just really filling out really nice. And uh, of course we put the yellow lantana down there in the, around that circle of the, the single uh, planter here. And uh, then the Red pop, uh, red uh, roses there. The <coughs> and then the uh, potato plant and the hang down. And it's uh, I just transplanted a little of that, and it's just really taken off. And I think it looks kind of nice, the bright green color there, and then the darker green, and the the rest of it is. Uh, a miniature uh, gardenia. And then uh, all of the other plants around just have really filled out and looking good. Over here, uh, of course, these are elephant ears that uh, we have. And uh, I have a little yellow rose that's coming out. Not much, but a little bit of flowering there. And uh, the red rose here. Over here on this side, in the near yard, we have, uh, we just installed this uh, fountain. And we call him Nessie, or Nessa actually. And uh, It's just quiet and peaceful. Let you hear a little of the sound of the birds and the, the water flowing. Not a lot is blooming right now. We have a few things that are blooming, but uh, during the heat of the summer like this, it's it's pretty difficult to have a lot of blooms. The flowers. Uh, Basically, we're just trying to survive through the heat, and uh, we do a lot of watering. Now, here's a, a lily that's doing real well. It's not as big as some that we've had. This one over on this side is it's real pretty. Our White Natchez, or Natchez White Crepe Myrtle is doing right well. Uh, the blooms on this thing are just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, most people don't even realize there's a yellow stamen in the middle of the blooms. Just see them from a distance, it looks like it's all white. And that's the biggest part of what's blooming today. Uh, talk to you another time. Come back and see us. Alright, bye-bye.